Uh, we love Tennessee. We love the people of Tennessee. We love its conservative Christian values, and that's, uh, that's why we're here. A new religious group is setting up a branch in East Tennessee. Rod of Iron Ministries is based in Pennsylvania. It's looking to expand its supporters. The group recently purchased 225 acres in Granger County. And tonight, reporter Mary Klingler takes us to that site, and we hear from one member of that group about why East Tennessee. We believe that uh, the kingdom of heaven is uh, a society of armed armed citizens, okay? So everybody in the kingdom of heaven, we believe, should be armed. This religious group wants to set up new roots in East Tennessee. We're not here to convert anybody. We're here just to promote freedom. Rod of Iron Ministries Administrator Greg Nall says the ministry has a basic set of principles. He's been a supporter for decades and says people have no reason to fear their ministry. Well, the gun uh, really does represent uh, strength, a uh, peace through strength. You know, if you have a gun in self-defense, the criminal or the predator will back off. Rod of Iron Ministry is pushing back on national media attention that focuses on the use of AR-15 weapons in some of their worship services. They're also pushing back on being called a cult. These are kind of like leftist kind of labels uh, put on us. But really, in essence, it's true. We are, we do put America first. <laughs> uh, we do believe in the Second Amendment as the last bastion of uh, freedom in this country. Now that Rod of Iron Ministries has purchased more than 200 acres in Granger County, their vision for the future of this scenic land near Bean Station is clear. A place where people can come uh, for prayer. Uh, for nature walks. Uh, there's going to be beautiful gardens here in the future, uh, orchards, uh, raised uh, garden beds, and a place, uh, a trails, many trails on this property. It's the Garden of Eden. That's what we want to do. That's Mary Klingler reporting. A leader of the group, Pastor Sean Moon, told Mary there's a Civil War gravesite on that land and they plan to turn it into a veteran memorial. They hope to open that land to the public in the spring.